Hi everyone and welcome to my vlog. It is Saturday morning and I'm going for a little walk around the farm and I'm going to show you all the new things that have happened on the farm. So first of all, loads of the fields have been cut and they've been ploughed up, which is quite cool. And look at that sky today, it is so incredible. So the last time you saw the polytunnel it had lettuces in it, but I planted those lettuces out and eat most of them. And now we have squash, which is here, and then loads of tomatoes, and which are all ripening up and we're eating at the moment. And then courgettes, which we've kind of had the glut of, but there's still a few more. And down here is um, little gherkins, which my mother-in-law, I think, is planning on doing something with. So, oh no, and down here I noticed that my borage plant is dead because I didn't water it, so it's just so bad. The tomatoes are looking really, really good um, and they're all ripening up super well. And I'll show you the courgettes, one ripe courgette in here. It's so cool, like it's amazing that they grow just like that. And they're so tasty. And here is our pussycat, who absolutely loves the polytunnel but also loves to do this just decimating various things that I've grown so try and rescue these I kind of need to plant them out anyway but she's so naughty she just loves the polytunnel because it's warm and cozy for her bad girl mama okay so first of all there was this little tiny strip just in the driveway and this was so grassed over, it was crazy, it was full of weeds. And I planted out alpines and lavender. Now I've done it kind of a bit late, but better late than never, I think. And then also over here, this is the border that kind of joins the house, which is there. Um, I've planted up quite a lot of plants in here now. And some of it looks good, some of it doesn't, but it's so much better than what it was. And then at the back there I've got some beautiful plants and loads of nasturtiums which actually add so much colour and it's really pretty so quite happy with that considering it was completely dead before. Um, and I'll show you the other garden there. So this is all a work in progress because there is a giant big barn at the back of this garden which is really awful because um, it used to be quite pretty the view but you know the farm has to come first so this is a work in progress we're going to get the whole thing leveled out and we're having um buildings like sheds garden sheds and stuff put there so i think it will look quite pretty eventually but what we've been doing is just little small beds and again this hasn't been mowed so it looks really overgrown but i've been planting scabious and nigella and things like that which are quite pretty and then putting some shrubs into the sort of wild grass area and then I do have a herb garden as well, which I did from scratch. So it's got rosemary and thyme, um, sage, fennel, more nasturtiums, parsley, and different types of mint, which are yet to kind of bush up. Chives, so curry plant, um, mint, lemon balm, and chamomile. And then there's more shrubs at the back where the bicycle is. Um, so yeah, it's got a long way to go, but I promise this will look pretty eventually. So yeah, the plan was to grow a lot more edible flowers and herbs and things like that that I could use either in baking, cooking, or in natural beauty products, because I love doing that too. So I have got plans to kind of redo some of those beds and make them more, you know, beauty based and medicinal garden based. So I'm excited to do that. So I'm just going to find my husband. I think he's down with the goats and he needs me to help him do stuff for a market later. So I'm gonna go find him and see what my job's are for the day. There he is. So my job for the day is going to be in here, which is our butchery, which means I probably don't want to be wearing a dress because it's really, really cold. Look who it is, it's Scrumpy Sun, Stout. Stout. Stoutykins, Stoutykins. He's so cute, but he doesn't love me. So I'm just bringing all the dogs out for a little walk. 
there's six of them all together and there's one big one somewhere oh, there she is and actually I can also show you um, our polytunnels so we've got two brand new big polytunnels well they're not brand new because we used to have goats in them but now they are going to be our growing polytunnels very excited to get going in those and we've moved our bantams down here because they were eating my garden so we're just training them at the moment to stay down here and then we'll let them free so they're all a bit confused at the moment but yeah there they are and these are all the dogs so I'm just making it a quick lunch I'm actually cooking from the, the Deliciously Ella app and this is one of her sort of lunch style things except I thought I had a sweet potato and it turns out it's quite woody but basically it's just chopped up tomato and cucumber which I got from my polytunnel and a dressing which isn't the most tastiest but I'm just going to give her the benefit of the doubt and try it together and then there's some chickpeas as well in the oven so I'm going to have that and hopefully that's delicious for lunch. Okay so here is my salad bowl. I actually didn't trust her dressing in the end because I just didn't think it tasted nice. So I've gone and made myself a proper dressing and basically and I added some pickles as well because I love pickles and avocado so I'm going to dive into this. Hey everyone so sorry I didn't finish off my vlog the other day. It is now third, yeah, it's Thursday morning and my hair's wet which is why it looks a bit straggly. And I've got the cat down here and we've just had breakfast. I had toast or gluten-free toast with peach on top, which I really like. It's like a sort of late summer treat. Although it is the 1st of September today, so it is technically autumn, which I'm actually really excited about. Um, and I'm almost 16 weeks pregnant. Woohoo! So I'm going to leave the blog off here and I will have another farm blog for you very, very soon. So thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye.